Yeah, Facebook is broken, all right. Get it together, mate. Get it fixed. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. You muppet. Hey, noble one, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking, and perhaps you don't know that I've also got a Metatron Facebook page. On this page, I oftentimes post pictures, make announcements, and recently, for the last couple of months, I've been posting videos from this channel that I think perhaps many people didn't see, and I re upload them there together with those videos that I think are perhaps the best ones. So you could say I, I sort of handpick the videos that I think many of you would enjoy checking out. Here is the thing though, it would be nice if Facebook as a page worked, but it doesn't. And this isn't the first time that we've got controversy or problems as creators on Facebook and I'm sure you've watched the video that Scalagrim posted where he basically lost control of his Facebook page for quite a few days having lots of problems because of Anyways, you know, if maybe check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. But today the problem I'm having with Facebook is absolutely ridiculous, like literally moronic. So as you can see, I'm here checking out my page. You know, I want to see how the videos are doing also because I'm getting really close to 10,000 followers. In fact, follow me on that page. So if we hit the 10,000 mark, that's one of the first requirements to reach monetization. I would really appreciate. Thank you so much. But then again, here I am scrolling down and here it is bright and yellow. So there I am thinking, questioning myself. I'm like, you know, I do screw up. I mean, I'm not perfect and I'm not really, really good at this, I have to say, when it comes to social media. So I'm like, maybe I, maybe I placed the music that I wasn't supposed to. Perhaps did I, did I use like content belonging to someone else? And also, who is this person here? I mean, I've never heard of them, but apparently I'm using their footage. Okay, so within this video, at this specific minute, I'm supposed to be using this person's footage. Let's check it out. Crucifixion was a commonplace in Palestine under Roman rule, while it was crucifying 2,000 Jews in 4 BC, while Josephus reported mass crucifixion during the Jewish wars. Wonderful, so basically this guy owns the city of Jerusalem. But good for him! Seriously, what this is, it's a clip that I have legally and lawfully used from this website that I pay yearly that allows me to use royalty-free clips. What's happening here in my opinion, is not that this creator literally tried to falsely claim a copyright, send a copyright claim, I think Facebook did. Now, I'm not gonna do it, but just to show you if I do accept the changes, check this out. Action was taken on your video. If you violate copyright again, your ability to post content may be restricted or your account may be disabled. And of course, I'm gonna submit a dispute. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's check the second one, because of course there is more. And we have this creator from this page that apparently has sent a copyright claim of this section in this video, so let's check it out. Wonderful, so um, apparently he either owns me or he owns NordVPN. I'm being salty, but I'm not being salty against these people, because to be honest, this content creator here has over a million followers. Of course he's not doing it. Why would he do it, considering my page is so small? To be honest, I think it's the system. I believe what's going on here is that Facebook found clips that we have in common. One, because probably this rabbi, I guess, used a royalty-free clip from the same website that I'm subscribed to and because this other creator was also sponsored by NordVPN and, and clearly received and used the same assets that we all creators get from these sponsors when they want us to talk about their products. 
what the system clearly did is that it found the same clips and said, oh, this page is big, this page is small, meaning mine, therefore, definitely this guy, meaning me, is using their footage. So let's just file a claim automatically for these two creators that I really don't think did it manually. And here I am, being threatened of having my page closed removed. Of course I'm contesting this, wait a few days for them to respond and then insert this on this video, but I am pretty sure that these people, once they see that this has happened, will remove the claim, because I mean, he owns. Regardless, what this is, it's a great opportunity for us to discuss the clearly broken system. Even YouTube that we have been complaining about for so long when it comes to copyright claims and all of that, doesn't do this. What does YouTube do? What YouTube does is that whenever it identifies that a certain percentage of a video of mine is being used by another channel, it sends me the notification and they show me, hey, 30%, 60%, 80% of your video is being used by this creator. What do you want to do about it? And I can ask them to remove it or I can say, no, it's fine. So it needs to be manually reviewed by the creator. Anything that the system finds needs to be manually reviewed and normally, I don't have a problem with people using part of my content as long as they don't re-upload my video entirely, which some people do and every single time I see that, 100% of your video is being used by this creator, I'm like, no, remove that. That's lazy, it's not right, it's my work. But even if it's someone who uses, I don't know, 60%, even 70% of a video of mine, but if they use it to make a response video, regardless of whether they disagree with me or not, and I have to say, even regardless of whether they've been dicks about it, that's their choice, I guess, I still don't remove it or don't force them to remove the video because I think it's fine, it's fair use. They're responding to me and I'm okay with them using part of my video as long as they don't just go on and fully re-upload it. But Facebook, no, it does it for you, as you can see. Again, I don't know. We'll have to see how these creators respond. It's clearly the system that automatically does that and threatens people without these creators even knowing about it. Who knows, maybe someone got a claim from my page that I don't know anything about. Now Facebook, you need to fix this. It's ridiculous. And I think this really opens up an opportunity to talk more about copyright infringement, protection of copyright and automated systems. Even YouTube, <laughs> I don't believe I'm saying this. Even YouTube has a better system than you. So rather than threatening people to cancel out and completely remove their page when they are completely innocent, do what YouTube does. You know how people ask, what would Jesus do? You should say, what would, what would YouTube do? I can't believe I'm saying this. Even though YouTube's system is already broken when it comes to copyright, it still works better than Facebook's system. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. It, you Muppet. If I got a copyright infringement for every time I said Muppet. All right, so let's wait a few days and I'll be back with you. Hey, noble one. So here I am two and a half days later. It's been almost three days. And so in the first day, nothing happened. But finally, at the end of the second day, I noticed that I checked the both videos and finally the uh, copyright claim was gone. So I think that this is due to the creators manually reviewing uh, the situation and, and removing it. So thanks to the creators, no thanks to Facebook, the problem has been solved. What's interesting about this is that I, of course, checked my uh, analytics. I don't know what they're called, honestly, on Facebook, but the equivalent of the analytics for when it comes to the views generated by uh, these videos. And I noticed that the videos experienced a significant drop in, in views when it comes to the days in which they had the copyright claim. Now, this, of course, could be a coincidence. I'm not saying that necessarily the system penalized them because of the copyright claim. But to be honest, that's exactly what it looks like. And I think considering the fact that it happened to both videos, it's quite obvious that that happened too. So I'm happy that the uh, issue was solved in the first place, because to be honest, I was thinking maybe they'll never solve it and I'll, and I'll finish this video in 2051. So I'm glad that it did get resolved and I'm also glad that it happened relatively quickly. However, this really makes you think because I really believe that this is a problem that goes also beyond Facebook itself with social media as a job. Creators like me and like all the people that do make a living by creating content of 
whatever kind on social media. The fact that we have to hang on this continuous threat from these big corporations that we basically generate money for, we will close your page, we will disable this account if this happens and oftentimes we are innocent because these systems don't work. In this case, when it comes to copyright, it's worse on Facebook, believe it or not, than it is on, on YouTube or perhaps even other social media platforms. But in general, this is a problem that has happened on YouTube too. If you remember Thane Thrand and uh, Todd's Workshops channels being completely removed out of the blue. And when it comes to my uh, Facebook page, even if it did happen that tomorrow the page was closed because I don't know, the system didn't, the system actually thought that I was trying to scam or whatever, it wouldn't hurt me financially because I'm making no money. I'm hoping, it's a little bit of an investment if you will, but I'm hoping that it will generate money eventually. It would just be like I wasted a lot of time. It wouldn't really make a, a dent into what is, we could say, the way I support myself and my wife. But with that being said, there are a lot of people that do use Facebook as their main source of income. And what happens if they lose everything? I mean, how can you go ahead and continue to, you know, create content that people love while you are attached through a thread of let's hope nothing bad happens and I don't just lose everything tomorrow when I wake up. And this is a problem that happens on YouTube too. Uh, luckily, it never really happened to me. I only ever received one copyright strike, I believe, on YouTube and a quite a few copyright claims, unfortunately, some of which were not justified and YouTube did nothing and I just lost money and, and hours of work, which is really the, the worst part. My type of content requires a lot of research. I don't just take an iPhone, whatever, and smash it on the floor and get money. I need to research for many hours, sometimes weeks, and when a video that required maybe, I don't know, three weeks of work and hundreds of hours put into it um, is then blamed or stops generating money or is completely muted for no reasons, uh, that means that I've literally wasted uh, 80 hours of my life that I of work that I could have used to do something else. This is what really hits me. So uh, I hope that, uh, I don't know, I don't think this video is going to get many views, but uh, I just hope you found it entertaining and that we could share this little bit of moment of, we could say, behind the scenes together with our creator. In fact, if you look in the back here, uh, that's oh, you actually can't see it, but that's this video being edited. So in a way, this this is what you're watching now, but it's already being edited in part. I'm just adding this three days section. So in a way, it's a little bit of an out of body experience, I, I, I guess. But in general, if you do share this video, I hope that Facebook sees it and that maybe they fix it. Them threatening to close my page is not a huge problem for me. It would be a bummer, but it wouldn't be a huge problem. But I'm sure they do it with other people too. People who are supporting their families and that that's their main job. It's just not right. And it's very stressful. Facebook, get it together, mate. Get it fixed! <laughs> Alright, number ones, I hope you enjoyed this kind of different video and I will soon make a regular vanilla video for the channel and there are a few very interesting uploads that I'm preparing for next month, so make sure to stay tuned to the Metatron's channel. Thank you very much for watching and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye. <laughs>